What would you do if at the moment of death, a voice from the darkness offered you the chance to live again? Have your answer? There's no time to think about it. Your heartbeat away from flatlining. Quick, what's the answer? I'm Todd McFarlane, and I created Spawn. I hope you'll consider the question I've just posed, because a man named Al Simmons didn't. When the question got popped on him, he signed like some stupid rookie in blood. See, Al had qualities he didn't even know he had, a special kind of wiring that Malboja the devil looks for. And when he said yes to that voice, he signed on for a whole lot more than he ever bargained for. So before you find yourself in a similar situation, and a voice calls to you in the darkness, think of Al. Or as you may see, you'll have all eternity to think about your mistake too. And now spawn, so turn off your lights. Are you sure you know the difference between good and evil? As you race around trying to put food on the table or pass your exams or make love? Are you confident that you could distinguish the forces of light from the forces of evil? I'm Todd McFarlane, creator of Spawn. And to me, there's nothing, nothing out there in life that is all black or all white. Good always has a germ of evil inside it and evil just a touch of good. Take Spawn, an assassin in life Hell's own soldier and death, not exactly Boy Scout material, but if you consider he made his choices for love, the love of his country and the love of his wife, well, you begin to see he's a little like you and me, just another poor schmo walking on razor's edge, all hell pushing one way and heaven pushing the other and him stuck in the middle trying not to get cut. If you had to choose a slow searing ride on Satan's carousel or watching helplessly by as your best friend got it on with your lover, what choice would you make? I'm Todd McFarland, creator of Spawn. A crude scenario I've just painted? Possibly. But hell isn't subtle, folks. And it's a situation like this that's hell's little way of showing Spawn that hell isn't just a place, but a state of mind. And fire, while painful, isn't the only way Malboja can burn him. Yes, Spawn is learning, but all the while, the black tentacles of evil are starting to spread. And as you'll see, hell is alive and well on Earth. believe in cause and effect? Drop a glass, the glass breaks. Strike a match and a fire starts. Do the things we do in this life screw you and the one that comes after? I think so. Spawn's learning that little lesson too. Oh, he'd like to make it all go away somehow. Pull out, hide, sleep it off. But he made his deal with the devil. And now the dominoes are already crashing down. And he's got nobody to blame but himself. And me. I'm Todd McFarlane and I create its fun.
Would you know the devil if you saw him? Would you know his face, his eyes? Would you feel chilled in his presence? Or do you think he's some naked red guy with horns and a goatee and a tail? I'm Todd McFarlane, creator of Spawn. True evil is never what or who you expect. Sometimes it's grotesque, sometimes beautiful, sometimes it's a mobster or a priest, even the ice cream man. For all you know, I could be true evil. Scary, huh? Most of all, true evil whispers what we want to hear, and when it shows its ugly face, it tells us to do nothing. And that's where we find Spawn, sitting in the shadows doing absolutely nothing. the killer should be killed and if we killed him do we add to or reduce the evil in this world I'm Todd McFarlane creator of spawn can you answer the question I've just asked spawn has to because you'll see it's time for a showdown and spawn still has some big choices to make if he decides right the battle goes to the good guys maybe if he decides wrong well you know the answer to that don't you you will <laughs> 